Warning, this video contains spoilers from the hit TV show Squid Game. If you have not seen episode 3, you may want to turn off now. You have been warned. Okay, so we're here at Oatcakes and Milkshakes here in Stone, and thanks to Staffordshire Outlook for the heads up on the Squid Game Challenge that I'm about to participate in today. There will be some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the show, do turn off now. I hope you like the little introduction I've got um, Sean morning. with me. I'm too tired this morning, mate. As you could probably tell from the um, the dubbing. <laughs> and we've come down to do the oat cakes and uh, milkshakes in Stoke. So we're not quite in Stoke on Trent. So even though the, the title says Stoke on Trent, I'm just trying to get the uh, Stoke on Trent content up there, you know. But yeah, we're in Stoke, which is about 15 minutes away, so it's not too far if you do want to travel down to here. Oh well, yeah, we're in the oat cakes and milkshakes. Oat cakes and milkshakes. <laughs> can't say, can I? <laughs> We're in the oat cakes and milkshake shop uh, where they're doing a Squid Games challenge. <laughs> if you don't know what Squid Games is, it's a bit of a phenomenon and it's on Netflix at the moment, so go and check that out. So people have to do challenges, like, the use, like little kids games that you do in the uh, playground, playground games. And if you don't do it, you kind of get popped in the head, uh, so you're dead. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm too much, sir. Please don't. don't think they're gonna shoot me here so there should be more videos to come in the future so do consider subscribing i don't want to ruin anything if you not watch the program so perhaps turn off now and watch it at a later date because one of the challenges that we're doing here is in the program that's why it's a squid game challenge so yeah stick around and fingers crossed i'll see how i get on so the challenge consists of a honeycomb biscuit um, with a shape on it there's four to choose from and i'm at number three so i don't really know what that is going to be hopefully it's just a square or something easy but probably won't be and you get a big big nice milkshake to go with these i need to cut out the um shape of the honeycomb within two minutes um and then the milkshake i can just drink that afterwards when I'm just going that challenge in the time all right so we chose number three wasn't it number three yeah okay, I love the symbols on the side of the glass. Look at the symbols for the, the Squid Game thing. Get that turned around the camera. There you go. Bit of a beast. Well, I'm glad I haven't got too many to drink that. I want to take my time with this one. Right then. Yeah. You ready? Has he got to go straight away, Emma? Do you think about it? Challenge. Yeah. There's your challenge. It's number three. Number three. What's the shit? A star. star. Okay, so I went with number three. I've got a star. Not what I wanted. <laughs> you starting now? Okay, no. <laughs> I've got two minutes to uh, get the star out of the biscuit somehow. Uh, yeah. Or they, they give me this. Right then, are we ready? Two minutes on the clock. Got to zoom are you right. ready? Yeah, ready, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready? Go. Oh my jeez. Two minutes. <laughs> well, we have had someone do it though, we've had a few people do it. I don't think. Just just using that there? Yeah. Yeah, we've had about six, seven minutes. I'm glad I'm not going to die on this. Can I come eat around it or not? Come you on can it. do whatever you want to try and get out long as you don't break the star. Well. <laughs> Is it going to be exactly on the lines of the star as well? Yeah. yeah. Can't wow. actually like break the star. I'm out. <laughs> so you've got one minute and 19 seconds before you killed yourself. Look at that, I just got the edge there. Yeah. Oh, well, at least you tried. Because that wasn't, you've got no hope with that, have you? That was a valiantly bad. How far did you get? Not ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's been done. Touched four times and it's yeah, been yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> that didn't, take long. didn't last long, less than a minute. So I um, yeah missed by that that much. So probably be dead now. But <laughs> seeing as I ain't got a gun to me head, I might have got a bit too excited for it. But at least we've got a nice milkshake to eat. 
It's a consolation prize. Oh, that's enough. Ding dang. Well, when I was coming, I thought I take it easy, take the two minutes, and if it takes a bit longer, I'll just keep going until I've done it. At least I've done it. But. I kind of panicked a little bit. Sean's decided to do his own challenge now, and he's going for the um, the Bally Buster oat cake. I'm just hungry. Just really, really hungry. What's on that? Everything. I just ticked everything. Do you want to know what's on it? First layer: cheese, yeah, beans, sausage, mushroom, egg. Oh, okay. Second layer: cheese, tomato, bacon, mushrooms, egg. Okay. And then they do a bigger version on the fourth layer. They do two hash browns and two black pudding as well. It's called the breakfast. I'm glad I didn't have that one. Don't like black pudding. <laughs> Gonna stand it. Maybe we should give Sean two minutes today. <laughs> What do you reckon? So looking at this then, you've got the, obviously the honeycomb, as that's the challenge. But in regards to the actual TV programme, you've got the logos on the card that get sent out to people. You also get the little men with the guns. So a lot of detail has gone into the um, milkshake and I have no idea what it's in it. You've got black ice cream on the top, and some sort of probably honeycomb on the outside um, and a lot of the um, a lot of glitter so uh, yeah it's time to drink up I think I did think about trying out the oat cakes but then I thought if I'm having this I don't think I'll manage it yeah I don't know how far out the milkshake is it Sean's getting through his bally buster I am indeed there's more cheese in that than a dairy farm, honestly. <laughs> but other than that, lovely. I'm getting through the uh, milkshake. I've just had to uh, get myself an oat cake as well. Just, although it's nice, it's very sickly because it's a bit too much. I'm uh, not much for ice cream, to be honest, and there's a lot of ice cream in it, so. Sean finished his uh, Bally Buster. Yeah, yeah, just think. left the little cheese bit, but yeah, no, it was really nice, and uh, you get a lot for your money. It's like eight, seven pound there, seven pound eighteen. You get all that. It was like a little mountain. Couldn't eat it all. I couldn't finish. I'm glad that wasn't the challenge because I wouldn't have beat that either, to be honest. Nice, I like a toffee kind of flavour. A lot of ice cream with the black spray on top. I would recommend that one, but a bit sickly. So yeah, make sure you have an oat cake as well. But, this is oat cakes and milkshakes. It's in stone, and if you want to come and check out the, the challenge and do your own Squid Game challenge, it's on until the end of the month. I think it's the 31st it ends, so just like a Halloween special. So uh, make sure you come down. Like I say, it's only about 15 minutes away from Stoke, so it's not too far. Yeah, just have a little walk into town and uh, check it out. But I think I'm going to leave it there because my free parking's only an hour and we've been here for an hour, so I'm out of a parking ticket. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing because I didn't get a shot in the head, so there probably will be some more videos to come fingers crossed uh, if you liked watching the food reviews and things then drop me a subscribe because i do do that as well and i just keep finding different local things to film thanks to staffordshire lookout one more time for recommending this place and uh if you've got a recommendation comment below and let me know so yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and anything you want to add <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>